There's a good fish. Yeah. Oh. This one's bigger. I'm gonna be in trouble. Oh, it's coming in. It doesn't know it's hooked. It's not convinced it's hooked. Hey y'all, Tab here with Real Michigan Anglers. And in this video, I was uh, fishing out alone by myself and I found myself narrating to the camera and kind of talking the audience through how I fight a steelhead with a center pin rod. Back when I was new to center pin fishing, I was able to find videos on how to cast a center pin rod, but nobody really seems to have a lot of definitive information on how to fight a steelhead. So well, I'm going to talk about a few basics. Mostly I'm talking about center pin fishing, but a lot of this will apply to the spinning reel and the bait casting reel as well. First of all, I'm a big fan of using a very noodly rod. It's got to have enough backbone so that you can force the fish when you need to, but the more the rod wants to easily bend over, the easier your job is as the person running the other end of the rod. So with the center pin, you have the benefit of being able to change your drag instantly by how much pressure you put down on the reel with your hand. Or in this scene coming up, uh, I wasn't recording for the hook set. So that to me is one of the most important parts. So I want to go over that in a little detail. When you're center pin fishing or doing any sort of float fishing for that matter, when you first set the hook on a steelhead, it's important to keep the line tight, but it's also important to give them some leeway when they start to head shake or when they start to run. So if I set the hook and I feel head shakes, I just let my rod follow with each head shake until they start to calm down. And I either clamp down and do that, or I leave my hand loose enough to where if they really start to pull, it'll start spinning in my hand. If the fish starts to run right away, usually after a couple head shakes, they either hunker down or they run. If they run, you just let them go. You go real light on the drag, keep the just enough to keep the line tight so that you don't lose the fish because that's the most important thing is to keep the line tight. Uh, the second most important thing is not to horse the fish when the fish is not ready to be horsed. So you kind of got to wear them out a little bit. So if they're running, let them go. Let them take that drag. As soon as they stop taking drag, clamp down and try to bring them back to you and then reel up your slack, bring them back to you, reel up slack. As soon as they start head shaking or running again, let them go. The only time you don't let them go is if the fish is about to go over some rapids or into a log jam or something, and then you have no choice but to clamp down and not let them get into the obstacle. Sometimes this is where you break the fish off, especially with steelhead when you're fishing light line. Aside from that, there's some other tricks that you can do to kind of manage the fish while you're fighting them and remain in control when you need to. So most of that's going to be explained in the later section of this video, but hopefully that's helpful for you. If you're using a really stiff rod, it's extra important that you have light drag or light hand motion on your center pin reel, whether it's a spinning reel or a bait caster or a center pin. I like to go light on the drag at first so that if the fish needs to take line, they can. And then, you know, I'm 30 seconds to a minute into the fight. I like to tighten that drag up a little bit and always leave it loose enough to where if the fish wants to run, the fish can run. Uh, and if you're doing the center pin, you just got to feel that out. If they really start pulling and you start yanking that rod, then just give them, give them some slack, let them run, clamp back down again, and just continue that process until you bring them in. So stay tuned for the rest of the video and I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Got an eight pound leader, so I'm just trying not to horse it because I want it to come to the net. Come on, guy. This is 
where it's nice to have a buddy to net the fish. In the net, in the net. <laughs> oh, I'm in the tree, in the tree. I totally thought I was recording, but I wasn't. I have a nice steelhead on. Made a really good run. I thought I lost it because it was coming at me. And it really took off. Now I'm just trying to gain a bit back on it. It's coming in now. over here and grab my net at least get close to it Still got some energy. Not ripping like it was before I turned the camera on, that's for sure. I would like to get it to come to me, because I know I can move it over here. dark back. It might be a fresh fish. Uh, I think I'm going to try and go chase it down. No. I'm going to bring it in, I think. Yeah, you run up that way for a second. Okay, now I'm going to give it to him. So when I want to give it to them, I like to go down low and sweep. And if they start head shaking, I just give some slack on that reel. Low rod, sweep. Makes them just want to swim upstream. That way I can get him over here where I can land him instead of down there where I have to go chase him. going to do another run once I start putting some upward pressure on him. Right now he's just hunkered. There's some tugs. <laughs> that was cool. That was a good jump. Okay, let's just try and do that again. Rod low sweep I'm just holding and twisting my whole body slowly rotating upstream reeling back down oh, oh. Yeah. Now I'm keeping the rod high because when the rods high they have a harder time hunkering down and making a big run so if I don't want it to run way back down the river I'm going to keep that rod dip high. Now anytime it starts tugging, I like to go into this kind of a position. Because 
then they can bend my whole rod and I can give them slack with the reel. fish up. Oh, he's really good with little sticks. Okay. That was the most I've put pressure on that fish. And it panned out. I didn't break my leader. I've got eight pound fluorocarbon leader on right now. all about the right combination of keeping pressure on the fish and not putting pressure on the fish when they run because that's how you lose them this fish is definitely getting tired now tally whacker biter <laughs> imagine that keeping its head out of the water so I can control it. And I'm gonna grab my net and walk it up river. It's a little shallower. tough battle that took a minute it's a pretty good size fish not a monster but definitely big tail big head 